Hi everybody. Now, I know everybody's probably very excited about the explosives that are coming with 118 to Daisy PlayStation and uh, Xbox when it releases on the public servers in a few weeks' time. Uh, it's on the Xbox and PlayStation experimental servers at the moment. But really, for me, probably the most exciting thing is this down here, hidden all the way down here. Last but not least... The game update unlocks hundreds of static environment objects, so server owners can now customize their servers. So what does that mean? Well, you may well know, um, if, you, if you're a DayZ modder on console, um, um, we're a bit limited, or we were a little bit limited, about the objects that we could spawn in to create custom areas, you know, to create new custom villages, towns, um, roadblocks, military bases, all this sort of stuff. Um, you were limited to things that said land in front of them. Um, and the way that we would do this, what well, the more efficient way we've been doing this over the last few months is using the excellent Inclement Dabs Daisy editor to spawn stuff in. But when you go into the editor, um, one of the things you, you normally, one of the other mods you load in is a PC mod called Builder Items, and that has all these hundreds of other items in that you're like, oh, wouldn't it be really good to be able to spawn in some hexo crates or a barrier or some sandbags, you know, or, or various furniture? Well, in that blog post from the Daisy developers from Adam, They've, they've added a lot of those things. So what you can do now is when you go into the DAISY editor and you just search for static, we've got hundreds and hundreds of new items that you can, um, you can now spawn in and then create uh, custom JSON files um, to then you know, you know, place them around your uh, custom areas. Um, it, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It really is good. It really is amazing. It really is amazing. So I've kind of just randomly pulled pulled some out. There's this. This is a sinkhole. I'm not quite sure where you would put this because you'd need to have. Because if you drop it into the ground, the the ground cuts in. You've got like a rubbish pile. There's a gravel pile. You could stack them together. Um, obviously, the tent's normal. Uh, one of the things that I get very excited about are fences. There's lots of different fences now that you can use. I love the hexo boxes because you can make all sorts of structures with these hexo box, hexo crates. You know, you can stack them on, do everything. Um, sandbags, I mean, sandbag walls. You can, you can make a whole base out of sandbag walls. Um, here we have the, the railway tracks, um, the hay bales. There's uh, traffic lights there. <laughs> Bulldozer. Lots of different camo nets. Um mind thing there's a there's a there's the bloody piano and um, we've got some some books in a bookcase um some boxes oh there, there's a set of scales there's a radar thing some planks um this <laughs> it's easy to spawn in the railway bridge now and that sort of thing um some of this you might have been spawning before but i can't remember but there's lots and lots and lots of stuff now some of the static stuff doesn't appear um now i'm not sure why um so you'll scroll down and you'll find... I probably won't find it now. Yeah, like this cemetery fence. There's nothing there. That may be there on the full release or it could be something to do with um, this being on an experimental server. I'm not sure. But this is incredibly exciting. This shows, without a doubt, that Adam and his Daisy team are fully committed to bringing console Daisy to a par as much as they can with PC Daisy modding, because mean this means we can make really um, uh, lifelike um, and immersive structures in Daisy without having to resort too much to you know taking castle walls and flipping them on the sides. We have to do all these odd things to make things work, but now with these extra things, I mean the sky's the limit. It really is. It really is what what we can do. Um, very very exciting thank you very much to Adam um, I know anybody who's watching this who's familiar with the Daisy editor who does um, does modding for console where you're creating JSON files you're probably like oh my god but remember even for PC this is really important because it means you do, it's one less mod that you'd have to load in you don't have to have builder items on your server um, because they you know they're part of the vanilla game which is uh, which is incredibly exciting so you know if you're into it um, if you use the Daisy editor it's dead easy um, flash it up in, inside the experimental server. Um, I haven't bothered loading in the builder items mods, but it does still work. Just remember to load in the Daisy editor, CF, 
and then uh, dabs framework i think you have to load in and then it will fire up uh, and you'll get the uh, get the new stuff so well done adam and your team absolutely fantastic drop the mic um look oh yeah look, there's a helicopter thing you can spawn in now i mean how cool is that anyway so 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 pleased so 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 happy i know there's going to be hundreds if not thousands of people now spending hundreds if not thousands of hours creating custom um areas for pc and console that will be immersive like like lifelike and will look part of the map well, what do you think put your comments down below hit like if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more of the same and i will of course see you again soon